good evening all of you and here is a series of important and very useful problem for upcoming j and here we go with the first problem i'll go in the order of increasing order if you have not subscribed to the channel please do like and subscribe for more quality content for free so the first question is straight for what j to 2 pi mod sin x plus mod cos x plus mod sin x by 2 plus mod cos x by 2 dx and we can break the limit as we know 0 to 2 pi mod sin x since mod sin x is and <coughs> function which is periodic with pi so it will repeat itself the graph will look something like this which is drawn on the left and all the four graph i have drawn just for the sake of understanding which you can see in different color so 0 to 2 pi is just this area and we know 0 to 2 pi sin x dx is nothing but minus cos x derivative from 0 to pi and which gives minus of minus or minus 1 which is 2 so the first answer is going to be 4 similarly because of symmetricity the second answer is also 4 for mod sin x by 2 it's predict 2 pi and it will evaluate to 4 similarly mod cos x by 2 is also predicted Pi and hence that will also amount to 4 so the total answer is all these integrals are equal so it's 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 and the answer 16 but it's a straightforward problem which can be done from basic manipulation so first I'll try to find the values of 0 to pi over 2 1 by 1 plus 10 kx dx Let's say particularly I am evaluating the problem at k equals 20 to 24, which feels fanciful. So this is equals i equals 0 to pi by 2. By King's rule, I can replace x with a plus b minus x. And this summation uh, is in GP sum. So pi by 4 plus pi by 4 is square till pi by 4 over n. And that can be written as a into common ratio to the power n minus 1 n tends to 0 pi by 4 to the power n minus 1 by n. you can clearly see it is in 0 by 0 form so i can use L'Hopital's rule and that gives me pi by 5 minus 4 to a ka power n ln pi by 4 by 1 n tends to 0 this goes so finally the answer evaluates to pi by pi minus 4 Long and it's very interesting is this answer is independent of any value of k over here okay so for 2024 or even for any cost 20 year 2023 we'll have same value we have another problem and now just by looking at the problem we are getting a feel of cos 60 plus x and cos 60 minus x so that can be combined together for manipulation other way of combining will be to convert this into because sine and cos is present so we can think of 10 60 plus x into 10 x into 10 60 minus x and that's a similar result which is 10 3 x okay so with this motivation into picture i can just multiply the expression numerator and denominator with cos x because that was the missing link denominator i can multiply with sine x since I multiplied, so I do divide this with sin x square and cos x square. So that dx will be the integration. Now we know the above integrand inside can be written as. Now we know the above integration can be simply written as 10 3x divided by 10 5. 10 3x in the denominator. Let's get kicked off and the question just reduced to integration of x plus constant is the answer for this problem. So this was also a simple problem which needs a small basic manipulation. Let's move to the next problem and for a and b such that both are non-negative and a is just strictly positive b is greater than equal to a is zero. We have to prove a to b to the power x squared dx is more than this. Visually in this kind of problem uh, we go by the geometrical approach so let's say e to the power x square graph will left like this strictly increasing function so for any values of a which is more than 0 and b which is more than or equal to a this denotes this area 
Now for the estimation, the point is how a strong estimation we require. So of course this will be greater than area of this small chunks, which is b minus a into e to the power a square. But we want more stronger, uh, you know, like the window. So here what we can do is maybe we can break this into two parts. I can tell area of this smaller chunks plus area of this smaller chunks. Or I can break this into three parts, but breaking into two or three parts is not a good deal here because we have only one expression. Or maybe even when you break into two parts, we have to use a mgen of both parts. So here is one approach. A better approximation can also be given from Taylor series for e to the power x square because we know e to the power x expansion 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial and so on and so forth. So as long as x is positive, I know this quantity will be more than 1 plus x for sure. So e to the power x will be greater than or equal to 1 plus x. Equality will hold x square plus 1. Hence this integration will be more than x square plus 1 dx. And evaluating this gives v cube minus a cube over 3 plus b minus a. Now a cube minus b cube formulas directly give me b minus a into b square plus a plus a square over 3 plus b minus a. Taking b minus a common, I am left with this expression. And now uh, all that I need to prove is this is greater than b minus a into third root of the expression inside. And that's not a very tough job because b minus a is already positive according to the given statement of problem. So all that I need to prove is this statement. Since a square plus a b plus b a square is reoccurring, so I can take this as s. And a square plus a b plus b is positive. So the given s means that just equivalence to s by 3 by 3. This is s, s over 3 plus 1 is greater than equal to third root of s. So keeping both sides, we are getting s cube plus 9x square is greater than equal to 0. In fact, a strict inequality is there and which is definitely true for all s greater than 0 as we have defined s to strictly greater than 0. So hence, this gets concluded. Okay. Now the equality case will come clearly when a equal to b because when a equals b, we will have the left hand term as 0 and the right hand side is also 0. So the next interesting question and it is also from a basic inequality which is basically trending for j. As you can see x is a number from 0 to 1 and n is any number more than equals 1. We need to prove the summation of this integration is less than 2. So for x belonging to 0 to 1, definitely uh, sin x will get an equal to 0 and cos x will get an equal to 0. This is happening because uh, if I see the sine graph from 0 to 1, 1 is basically lesser than pi over 2, which is 1 point something. So hence strictly sin x is increasing and cos x is strictly defeating it. Okay. So with these two uh, things in picture, and k is definitely more than 1, so the index, the power of cos in sin is also non-negative powers. So with this basic funda, uh, what I can do is as we can see the motivation in the RHS, we are not having any term containing sign of something or cos of something. So you must bring an inequality like either sin x less than equals x or maybe sin x or cos x less than equals 1. So this kind of fund I have to use in order to establish inequality. So that's the motivation. So let's try and go about it. Cos x to the power k minus 1 into sin x to the power k can be simply written as sin x. And if I plug cos x and sin x whole to the power k minus 1. And that motivates us to bring cos square x into sin square x to the power k minus 1 over 2 because cos and sin is positive so a square root can be defined. This I did because now I can use AMG inequality on cos square sin square. Okay. So this will be less than equals sin x into cos square x plus sin square x over 2 whole square to the power k minus over 2. So in this step I have used AMG of inequality on cos square x and sin square x. So this simply evaluates to 1 by 2 and we are left with its less than equals sin x into half square to the power k minus 1 over 2 to get cancelled and 
this is less than equal to sin x half to the power k minus 1. We know now sin x is definitely less than 1. Uh, in fact, it's less than x also. So that can be a strong inequality. But less than 1 is very conservative. So this quantity will definitely be lesser than equals half cup of k minus 1. Now, once this is achieved, uh, we are done because the given. Once this is achieved, we are done because we have proved like this entire quantity. Now, once this is done, we are done because this quantity is less than now sigma half to the power k minus 1. Right? So, in that integral, dx will be less than sigma half to the power k minus 1. k equals 1 to n and this is just sum of infinite gp so it's half to the power n minus 1 by half minus 1 which gives you 2 into 1 okay so i hope you have understood this and it was a basic question let's move to the next question and it's from a limit so we have omega abc where this limit has three parameters abc into picture and this is multiple choice questions where we have to select the options now you can first clearly test about this indeterminacy because when x is tending to 0 this quantity is going to 3 to the power 1 by 0 which is 3 to the power infinity and this is going to be 0 because limit x tends to 0 1 plus x to the power 1 by x is going to be so clearly it is in 0 by 0 form Moreover, x tends to 0, this limit is 0 into sine of 1 by tending 0. This will be oscillating between minus 1 to plus 1 and 0 into final oscillation is definitely 0. So, the limit for this chunk is 0. Hence, this is 0 into 1 into some final value 3 to the power 1 by tending 0. So, 0 into infinity kind in the numerator. And denominator is already 3 to the power infinity or minus infinity times 0. So, it's an indeterminate form and hence we need to value this. We'll do straight forward calculations first which I have already shown over here. So, first to handle uh, a to the power x plus beta power x plus c ka power x to the power 1 by x, I'll absorb 3 ka power 1 by x. So, these two terms will try to merge together and that will simply give me this expression. Since in all the options we have ABC positive, so I've taken ABC to be non-negative to calculate this. Now uh, this part is a standard limit which I have done earlier also. So either you can use L'Hopital's to evaluate this or here I go with the basic method because the motivation is a to the power x minus 1 by x is long. So with this motivation I divided by x on the sides multiply by x that gives me this expression straight away and now we have motivation for 1 plus x to the power 1 by x that is written by e to the power 1 by x ln 1 plus x minus 1 minus x and you can clearly see i have multiplied and divided with this expression so e ka power something minus 1 by something and e ka power golu minus 1 by golu and limit golu tends to 0 is one right this is a standard limit so using this idea the expression just boils down to this fundamental expression and with the simple calculations uh, we are coming to this state now limit x tends to 0 all that i need to evaluate is x square by ln 1 plus x minus x it says still 0 by ln 1 is 0 minus 0, so 0 by 0 form. So either you can still try with the Taylor series expansion of ln 1 by x, or we can simply use L'Hopital's rule. So here I will use L'Hopital's rule, so I'll differentiate in the denominator of a differentiation of denominator, which gives me 2x by 1 minus 1 plus x over 1 plus x. So this is minus x gets cancelled, x tends to 0, which evaluates to just minus 2. So the final answer for this expression is minus 2 over e abc to the power 1 by 3. 
So it was really a good question. Yeah, based on basic application, uh, we can break this problem, and we know right. Now, once we know the general answer for the expression, all that I need to keep is put the value of a b c so minus two by e, a b c or one by three. So one two three uh, is going to give you six to the power one by three. So first option is clearly wrong. Let's check the second option. One one two. One one two is two to the power one by three into two to the power one minus one by e. So minus two to the power four by three by e. Second option is true. Third option is minus two by e. That's also fine. And fourth option is we'll get minus two by e into e cube to the power one by three. And e will get cancels so minus two. That's also fine. Hence the answer for this problem is B C D. So I hope all these problems were. Uh, not really difficult but the idea was just to have patience and to tackle the questions easy i hope you must have enjoyed